under the arches, it's a really good community. Day to day, it's a lot of playing with Juniper. I get to work with the wonderful Christina, our lovely Jin still. She's my work wife. She does all the hard work, I take all the credit. It seems a bit unfair. We spend all day, every day together, so I'm quite attached. I remember when I first laid eyes on Christina, she was this beautiful, curvy, kind of stallion galloping through fields of botanicals. And uh, I, I just fell in love with her. Dodds is a modern take on a sort of 1920s cocktail style gin. So it's quite big, quite juniper forward, suited to cocktail style drinks, martinis, martinez, um, smaller and sort of shorter, stronger drinks. I like to think of Dodds gin as a little bit roguish, um, sort of feet up on the table, slightly more casually dressed than the, uh, the occasion might call for. Definitely a character, big, bold, somebody you'd have a beer with. Here at 68 in Boston, we take a lot of inspiration from where we are in the heart of Soho, right by Soho Square, and we like to draw on a lot of the characters and the colour and the history of Soho in the drinks that we serve and the menu that we have. I like to think that whether or not you think you're a gin fan or not, I think that people can find a gin that will suit your palate because there's such a wide variety, and I really like the way that a lot of people in London and around the world have kind of seized on this gin renaissance that we're going through at the moment. A big watershed year was 2009, certainly in the bars that I was working in, gin sales uh, overtook vodka sales. Now here at 68 in Boston, I think gin outsells vodka by about three to one. And there's more and more interest from the consumer in craft gins and learning about different gins and methods of gin production. So we're in Smithfield Market, which is a historic place in London. I think the audience here are really looking for something surprising and they're quite experimental and they like to try new things and that's what we deliver. Gin is London's spirit and 200 years ago everyone was drinking gin. They were making 14 gallons per man of gin. It was awash with it. So much so that it became a real problem and the government tried very hard to bleed it out and replace it with beer which they managed uh, and it sort of died a death for 200 years but now it's firmly come back in a sort of gin renaissance. Why do I think we love gin so much? I think that the gin and tonic helps. <laughs> that hasn't died a death and people from all ages still drink that. And I think it's just fascinating because it reminds people of that age of exploration and spices and citrus. And that's something that you can get in London that you possibly can't get in other places.